In this video, I'll be running through how to set up a free shipping threshold within Shopify and all of the important considerations to keep in mind once you go ahead and set this up. So firstly, tactically, how do you go and set this up? Head to settings within Shopify, then head to shipping and delivery. Scroll down to your shipping zone settings. And in here, you should already have shipping settings set up. If you don't, go ahead and create a zone. If you do, simply come in and click on add rate. From here, what you put as the shipping rate is really important as this will actually appear within the checkout. So the customers will see whatever this says. So in this case, I'm going to go custom and I'm going to label it free standard shipping. Price is at zero. And then I need to add conditional pricing, which means that this shipping threshold is only unlocked if. And the if is an order price is at a minimum of $99. And so in this case, anyone that has more than $99 in cart value will unlock this free shipping. I can then go ahead and click done. That will then be added into my list. So right now, if anyone has more than $99 in their cart, they get free shipping. If they don't, they only get the $10 option. And then I can go ahead and click save. Now there's four important considerations once you go ahead and click save. Number one, you need to make sure that all copy across your website is updated accordingly, both in your banners, your shipping policy page, as well as any landing pages that relate to shipping costs. Number two is you need to make sure that your Google Merchant Center shipping rates are now updated. If you don't update your Google Merchant Center shipping rates immediately, within about two to three weeks, Google will automatically scan your landing pages, put a few checkouts through, realize that your shipping rates are wrong, and your GMC account will get banned. So it's really important that that's one of the first things that you do. And then lastly, you need to make sure that however you're structuring your free shipping thresholds, that it has consideration of the cohort data across your pricing on site. And what I mean by that is we have a full video on it. So I'd recommend going and searching for shipping threshold blue sense digital and watching through this, but typically average order value is not uniform. So it is not that most people spend $80 and therefore we should put a free shipping threshold at $99 to incentivize them up. Normally there is different peaks within a data set, particularly depending on how you bucket up those brackets. And so we have a video on how you can quickly do this manually through an easy order export and then just import the data, graph it, so that you can identify which cohort of users, which bucket of users are you trying to incentivize and move? Because the majority of instances, there might be two separate incentives that you wanna be running. In this video, for example, we'd want to be incentivizing this cohort of 40 to $59 users upwards. So we'd want to have some kind of offer, let's say at the $70 mark or the $75 mark. But in addition to that, we have a lot of people that are sitting at $100 to $119 in spend. So how do we incentivize these people upwards? Well, maybe we put another offer at about $140, whether that's a free sample, whether that's the shipping goes from free shipping to express free shipping, are people even able to get their cart value to here with cross sell and upsell opportunities? So maybe we need to implement them into the website, taking a more holistic, broad approach to how you're structuring your threshold offers is really important for seeing success because unfortunately it isn't as simple as just going ahead and putting a free sh shipping offer in and then expecting average order value to increase. 